Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about Amagat's Law o Partial Volume. So, una sa lahat, ano ba tong tinatawag nating Amagat's Law o Partial Volume? The Amagat's Law o Partial Volume states that in an ideal gas mixture at a given temperature and total pressure, the total volume may be considered to be the sum of the partial volumes of the constituent of the mixture. So that means we could write it this way wherein the total volume is equal to the summation of all the partial volumes. Or the total volume is equal to the partial volume of gas 1 plus the partial volume of gas 2 plus the partial volume of gas 3 and so on. So as you can see, there is similarity between the Amagat's law of partial volume and the Dalton's law of partial pressure. Wherein in Dalton's law, natutunan natin that the total pressure exerted by a mixture is equal to the partial pressure of all the constituents of the mixture. So we have the total pressure is equal to the partial pressure of gas A plus the partial pressure of gas B, plus the partial pressure of gas C, and so on, diba? So, basically, as you can see, it is somehow similar on this point. But, on this case, we are operating in constant temperature and pressure, no? Okay, so, we have an example here, no? Para maipakita natin kung paano ba natin ina-apply yung Amagat's Law of Partial Volume. In here we have a red balloon filled with gas 1 with a volume of 6 ml. And in here we have a yellow balloon filled with gas 2 having a volume of 10 ml. And finally we have a green balloon filled with gas 3 having a volume of 100 ml. Well, let's say that we want to add all of these gases together and create a mega balloon that will hold all of these gases. No? So, we would like to know what is the total volume of all the gases inside the balloon. So, the Amagat's law of partial volume states that the total volume is equal to the partial volume of gas 1 plus the partial volume of gas 2 plus the partial volume of gas 3, right? So, Therefore, our total volume is equal to um, 6 milliliter plus um, 10 milliliter and plus 100 milliliter. So, therefore, on this case, our total volume is equal to 6 plus 10 plus 100 will be equal to 116 milliliter of gas mixture. So, this is how we apply the Amagat's law of partial volume. So, as you can see on this example, we have shown that the total volume is equal to the sum of all the partial volume ng lahat ng gas na constituent ng ating mixture, right? And it is operating at constant temperature. So, that means the temperature of our gas 1 is equal to the temperature of gas 2 and so on. And it is also operating in constant pressure. So therefore, our pressure in gas 1 is equal to the pressure in gas 2 is equal to pressure in gas 3 and so on. And we have to take note that we are talking about the total pressure right here. No? So how about the mole fraction? So what will be the mole fraction uh, if we are considering the Amagat's law of partial volume? Okay, so in this case, we are going to refer to the ideal gas equation. We have PV is equal to NRT, right? Now, if we are considering the overall mixture, you know, so that means we will be talking about the total volume. So, kung, for example, dito sa balloon na to, kung ang pinag-uusapan natin is itong mixture na to, so we will be considering the total volume and the total pressure and so on, no? So, let's say I will be considering the whole mixture. So, I will have here PV total is equal to the moles total because we are talking about all of the gas constituents ating mixture. So, we will be considering the total number of moles na nandun sa ating 
mixture. So we have here R T. Okay. So in here our total volume is equal to N T R T over T. Ba? And our uh, R is the ideal gas constant. Our temperature is constant and our pressure is constant. Now, how about if I'm talking about any constituents? For example, I'm working with the gas I. Okay? So, in that case, I will be taking the ideal gas equation considering the constituent I. So, I will have P V I is equal to the number of moles ng I and then R T. So, the partial volume of our constituent I is equal to the number of moles of I, K, and RT over pressure. Okay, so now I will try to take the partial volume uh, if we are dealing with the Amagat's law. So in getting the partial volume, we are dividing the partial volume of our constituent I with the total volume. Right? So, ganito natin makukuha yung partial volume natin. Now, now, considering these equations, we are going to divide VI, which is NIRT over P, with VT, which is NTRT over P. So, we have here, our VI is NIRT over P, and our VT is equal to NT. RT over P. Okay? Now, our R is the ideal gas constant. So, this will be cancelled out. Now, we are working with constant pressure and temperature in Amagat's law in partial volume, right? So, this will be cancelled out as well. So, on this case, ano yung may iwan sa ating equation? We have VI over VT is equal to N I over N T. So we have to remember this relationship, no? This equation Y, because this means that our mole fraction is equal to our volume fraction, because N I over N T is the mole fraction, wa? Because in here we have that number of moles of constituent I over the total number of moles. Diba? So, that means in Amagat's law of partial volume, our mole fraction is equal to the volume fraction. Okay, so I hope this is clear for everyone. Okay, so now, let us try to solve a problem para makita natin how are we applying the Amagat's law of partial volume, okay? Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. So, we have 50 moles of oxygen which is mixed with 190 moles of nitrogen at standard atmospheric temperature and pressure. So, our temperature is equal to 298.15 Kelvin and pressure is equal to 10 to the fifth Pascal. So, calculate the total volume of the mixture as per Amagat's law. Okay, so let us have a diagram for this para mas maintindihan natin. So, we have a gas here which is um, oxygen having 50 moles. And this is added with nitrogen, which is 190 moles. Now, with Amagat's law of partial volume, we have been asked what will be the total volume. Diba? So, yan ang kailangan nating makuha ngayon. Now, how are we going to do that? Okay, so first, we have to remember yung ginawa natin kaninang equation. No? We know that with the ideal gas equation, 
if we want to consider the total mixture, we will have P, B, P is equal to M, P, R, T, di ba? But, if we are considering any of the constituent, we have P, V, I is equal to N, I, R, T, di ba? So, now, the first thing that we will do is to find out ano yung partial volume ng ating mga constituent. Kasi pinaghalo natin to, creating a new mixture here. So, kunin natin kung ano yung partial volume nila. So, unahin natin yung uh, partial volume ng oxygen. So, we know that VI is equal to NIRT over T. So, therefore, the partial volume of oxygen is equal to the number of mole of oxygen RT over P. Diba? So, now, let us substitute our value. The partial volume of oxygen is equal to the number of moles of oxygen which is 50 moles, right? So, we will substitute that here. We have 50 moles times our ideal gas constant. We have 8.314 cubic meter pascal per uh, mole Kelvin. Multiply to the temperature, which is 298.15 Kelvin. So, we have 298.15 Kelvin divided by the pressure. And our pressure is equal to 10 to the fifth Pascal, right? So, substitute natin yan dito. 10 to the fifth Pascal. So, now we will see yung mga units natin. Uh, this will be cancelled out, this will be cancelled out, and this will be cancelled out. So, ang may iwan sa ating unit is yung cubic meter. So, our partial volume ng oxygen is 50 times 8.314 times 298.15 divided by 10 to the fifth is equal to 1.239 cubic meter, no? So, meron na tayong volume ng oxygen. So, kukunin naman natin ngayon yung volume ng nitrogen. So, ang volume ng nitrogen is equal to the number of moles of nitrogen times RT over T. So, the volume of nitrogen is equal to the number of moles ng ating nitrogen which is 190 moles. Diba? So, lagay natin yan dito. 100 90 moles okay times our r which is 8.314 cubic meter pascal per mole kelvin times our temperature which is 298.15 kelvin divided by um, 10 to the fifth pascal Okay, so check uli natin yung ating mga units. We will have this cancelled out. This cancelled out and this cancelled out. So, ang may iwan sa atin is yung ating uh, cubic meter. So, our volume of nitrogen is equal to 190 times 8.314 times 298.15 divided by 10 to the 5th is equal to 4.71 cubic meter. Ha? So, according to the Amagat's law of partial volume, our total volume is equal to the partial volume of oxygen plus the partial volume of nitrogen. So, our total volume is equal to the volume of our oxygen which is 1.239 cubic meter plus the volume of our nitrogen which is 4.239 71 cubic meter. So, therefore, our total volume is equal to 1.239 plus 4.71 which is equal to 5.95 cubic meter. And this is our final answer for this problem. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. 
It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much and have a nice day!